Hi, I'm Allison Davies, Communication Assistant with Regional Tourism Organization 7. And I'm here today with Jillian Fairley, the General Manager of the Center for Business and Economic Development in Collingwood. Good morning, Jillian. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Allison. Thank you for having me. I was hoping um, we could just start with an overview of the services that the Center for Business offers to potential startups and businesses in the Collingwood area. Sure, sure. So the Center for Business is a Community Futures office. So the Community Futures program is a program of the federal government. So there are offices all over Canada, and there are three offices located in the RTO7 uh, catchment area. And what we do at the Center for Business is we have a threefold mandate. And the first one is to support businesses through financing, through loans. And we also provide business supports through one-on-one -on -one coaching. And then uh, the third thing is supporting communities through economic development. So we engage in a number of projects that support the growth of the communities and primarily support the business growth in those communities that we serve. Great, and obviously this has been a really complicated time for many businesses in the region. Can you give us an overview of what kind of COVID-19 specific supports that the office is offering? Yeah, absolutely. It has been an extremely challenging time for the businesses. So one of the first things we did was offer immediate support to our loan clients. That was a priority, uh, which was deferred payments and, and other supports we put in place. Uh, we've also been administering the Regional Re Relief and Recovery Fund for the right. federal government, and that was a specific program uh, for small businesses, primarily those that are also uh, sole proprietors uh, and, uh, and businesses in rural communities that couldn't access other funding. Uh, and then uh, we've also been working very hard on communicating to our businesses. There's been so much communication and so much information, information out there. We've tried to distill that as much as possible. And then we, what we've been doing a lot of is actually connecting businesses to resources. So we do that. We offer a coaching yeah. program and a mentoring program, and including the, the TP program in partnership with our TO7. But what we've been doing with businesses that even aren't in that program is connecting them uh, with mentors and coaches who can help them navigate some of these programs. Some of them are very complicated in nature and mm -hmm. difficult to decipher. And so uh, we've connected them with resources that have expertise, or we've been able to provide it ourselves and give them some meaningful advice on, on how to navigate those programs. And we're continuing to work on communication with our businesses through webinars, uh, through other training methods that we can to get them the kind of support that they need when they need it. That's great. Yeah, it is overwhelming, I imagine, to navigate it all as a business, so they'd be happy to have the help. Um, can you? I noticed on the website that you offer business consultations. Can you explain what's involved in one of those? Yeah, absolutely. So we we have um, you know very experienced staff in our office. So I've been supporting the business community for over ten years, uh, and have been providing one on one coaching to businesses through various stages of their business growth. And then our loans officer is, ex, has extensive experience in financial management. So she works with our clients quite heavily on drafting their financials. She also works with them on managing you know, personal and business, because often they're blended, especially if you're a sole proprietor. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do a lot of that. That is our strength, is definitely on the financial coaching. So what a business typically does is they reach out to us. We have an online intake form, or they just give us a call. And we we engage or we arrange a coaching session. We've been doing those virtually during COVID. Yeah. Um, prior to, we would have done it in person. And then when things settle down, we'll offer that as well. Um, but so we work with the business through various issues. It's usually just an exchange of information. So they tell us what challenges they're facing. Mm -hmm. We come up with strategies. We try to distill it down to three action items. Um, and then we point them to resources where they can get additional information if we can't address all their concerns in a session. Um, or we also then encourage them to, to apply to our T3 and Power Up mentoring programs where they sort of get longer term support for the life of their business. So it's a fantastic program that way. Or we connect them to other resources like we often get referred to accountants, we refer to lawyers, we refer to you know, bookkeepers and marketing experts mm -hmm. for those businesses that need that additional support. So we have a very extensive network of resources that we refer to. So we like to think that we provide full wraparound support during our, our coaching process. Oh, that's great. Um, and I noticed too, yeah, the coaching and mentoring program, how does that differ from the consultation? Well, we've been running a mentoring program for a number of years and it's adapted over the years to reflect how businesses like to engage with us. So it's a very flexible program. 
But we know that businesses that go through mentoring uh, are more successful. There's been research conducted to actually show that I think it's 70% of businesses survive more than five years who have been engaged in proper mentoring or formal mentoring. So we know that uh, mentoring is important for the long-term success of businesses. So we've been offering mentoring and coaching for a number of years. And the, the T3 program is a program that's specific to the tourism businesses. So we have experts engaged that have extensive experience in the tourism industry. And they're providing their support to those businesses to help them navigate challenges. So a business applies into the program and they pay a $200 fee, but once again, that's a lifetime membership. So a lifetime of their business. And they get uh, access to as much coaching as they need during the life of their business. So what we see is the business gets really engaged in the first two to three months. Uh, they often see more than one coach. So a coach will come in for a session, it's usually about an hour, hour and a half, um, talking about the challenges of their business. Um, they look at the application information that's been submitted by the business so that we can provide some targeted support. Uh, we work through action items in the course of that meeting. And then once the business has had a chance to sort of you know, start working on those action items, they can re-engage with coach, the coaches again. So it could be the same coach. It really depends on if they need additional support for the action items that were identified. Or they can engage another coach. So for example, if a coach comes in and says, you know, you really should develop a, a communication strategy, then we have marketing coaches. Or if you need help with your employee retention and management, we have an HR coach. So we've kind of worked with a number of coaches and different businesses to give them the support they need. And then sometimes business just need a sounding board. We've had a, you know, a few really experienced business owners in the program who have just wanted to engage our coaches to make sure they've been on the right track. So right. that's been an interesting experience and a great experience for those business owners to actually chat with experts to say, oh no, you're doing the right thing. And that's been a very hmm. positive experience for them as well. Great. The other big offering you have are the business loans. I was just wondering if you could explain how people can access those. Yeah, absolutely. So we have a loan application process and it's available on our website and a business applies uh, and they provide a business plan and financials and we help businesses through that process. So we often support businesses in preparing their financials in guiding them on how they can develop a business plan and outline their objectives. And, and so it's a very engaging process. Uh, we have mm -hmm. two uh, loan products. We can lend up to $300,000. And that's our larger application where we work quite very closely with the business owner on applying for that loan. Mm -hmm. um, and that loan gets presented to our board. So we're, as a not-for-profit, we're governed by an independent board of directors. Right. Uh, and we serve 13 municipalities. So we have a very broad geographic representation on our board, as well as uh, individuals from professions. So we have an accountant, we have a lawyer, and we have a lot of uh, entrepreneurs still working in their business. So we're very fortunate to have a very experienced and uh, supportive board, and they review and approve um, all our loan applications for the larger loans. And then we also have a, what we call a business improvement loan. So that's a loan of up to $20,000. It's approved in-house. So we, once again, we still work with the business owner on, on their financials and on their plan. Um, it's a shorter turnaround process because it is approved in-house and we don't need a full business plan for that one. Uh, but it's for a business that's been in business for a year or longer. So that's a very popular program because uh, a business just might need to purchase a small piece of equipment or they're upgrading their website mm -hmm. um, and things like that. So it's been a very popular program and, and well received. And uh, we have a number of clients who have taken advantage of that loan program. Great. Well, that's obviously a long list of pretty amazing resources. If a business um, is interested in getting a hold of you and kind of getting the ball rolling, how do they go about that? Well, the first place to start is to visit our website at centerforbusiness.ca uh, mm -hmm. and they can find out all our offerings there. There's also, um, you can book a consultation directly on uh, our website uh, and that's the best way to get a hold of us. And then we have a turnaround time of less than 24 hours for someone to reach back out to you for a consultation or, or booking. Uh, or they can call us at 705-445-8410 uh, as well. We're working remotely in this time, but, uh, mm -hmm. but we've been able to stay active and engaged with our business community. Great, great. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, give us that overview, and um, hopefully your phone will be ringing off the hook. It probably already is. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Great, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.